Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to give a Kawaii Gang shout out to Carly Shalyn Smith, Rain Carpenter, Drea Kroger, and Hazel Swisha Sweet. Thank you guys for being the first four to comment on my last video and thank you to everyone who tries to get to these videos ASAP. It helps me out so much. So you guys, I was reached out to by Tones Products. Tones Products is an OG nail brand. I feel like they've been around forever. And um, I don't know, I've been following them forever. They're amazing. Um, they have really, really beautiful acrylic colors. And I chose these four to show you guys, as well as the primer. I'm not using the primer in today's video, but I'll be using it soon because I'm looking for something to replace my um, Young Nails Protein Bond if possible. This first color here is called Nue. It's really gorgeous. It reminds me so much of JC Beauty Concepts Cover Blush. I'm running low on my cover blush and I feel like this is going to replace that for me. This one is called New Delicious and it's a gorgeous, I'm sorry, it's audacious. I'm tripping. <laughs> New Delicious. No, it's audacious and this is like a frosty pink. These two colors are just to die for. You need these when you're doing any sort of ombre. Now this lilac with a like glitter sparkle is called diamond pink. This is like a lavender lilac shade. If I were to choose a purple, it would be that shade of purple. It's just so beautiful. And this is how it looks in its raw state in the jar or whatever. And uh, it's just so gorgeous. And this is the last color called blush pink. And this has a very fine glitter. It's not super duper obvious, but it is there. And it comes out kind of like salmon-y coral. I love all the colors I chose today. And I was actually very impressed that they all looked very true to the website. They weren't like completely different or anything. So this is what they all look like. Um, so yeah, I'm using two of the colors today. I ended up going with the lilac one called Diamond Pink and Nue for my ombre. And these are all covers. Like they are very highly pigmented, you guys. They are very smooth. I'm using Young Nails Monomer today as well as my super duper big brush. I don't have a link to this exact brush, but I will link you guys over to Alpha Brush. I usually use Alpha Brush, so. I imagine the Alpha Brush like number 20 or 24 flat oval would be pretty similar to what I'm using right here today. I usually use Alpha Brush number 12 oval brush. So yeah, just letting y'all know. So the nails that I'm working on are actually the Eno Couture 123 Go Pipe Nails, but I cut them down. Um, basically, I cut off the number and then I cut maybe like two millimeters above that, just like a little bit even shorter just to make it into a perfect square. I like the pipe nails because I noticed when I cut them down, they look like the square shape that I like. Like that really cute like square medium type of shape. But these have such a deep C curve. It definitely gives you that sculptured look like you used a nail form. So um, if you're new to my channel, I'm doing this method on um, a nail stand like this because I like to do press on nails so I can do these videos frequently um, instead of doing them like directly on my hand. So yeah, that's the only reason why. But yeah, so I'm just applying this product all over my thumbnail. Basically, we're gonna do a mixture of fully solid lavender nails and then some ombre lavender nails. So this is gonna be an ombre nail right here. I'm applying this bead to the very end of the nail and then blending it backwards. And then I will grab Nue. Nue is so gorgeous but i did notice it kind of oxidizes it's very interesting i want you guys to like pay attention when i apply the nude color you will you will notice it looks kind of cool toned and a little bit ashy but just give it a little while to like to start setting and polymerizing i always struggle to say that word <laughs> But once that color is fully set, it definitely gets a lot more saturated in color and it looks more vibrant. It's very, very interesting. I do love this color, like this kind of more ashy cool tone, but I think the color that it ends up turning into is a lot more flattering on me. So that worked out. And it's just so smooth. Like I didn't have to work hard at all to blend these two colors. Like at freaking all you guys it was so simple to do the last thing i'm going to do to blend this ombre is grab the tiniest bit of the purple shade just to put those like glitter flex right over the blend and that's it that's all we're doing so we're pretty much doing one big bead at the bottom of the nail and one big bead at the top of the nail and that should be just the right amount of acrylic 
to do a acrylic press on set one thing I really highly advise to you guys when you're doing any type of press on nail try not to use too much product I feel like when you over apply the product it really like makes the nails super duper tight and then that's when they start feeling really hard to fit if anyone's tried to make press on nails you've probably come to this conclusion before you probably experienced this before like after making the entire design you go to put them on and they don't fit anymore they're like one to two sizes too small that's what happens when you apply way too much product um but yeah so like i would say two big beads of acrylic is just right enough like just enough and because these nails are so pinched you don't really need a ton of product to get some strength in them that pinched shape somehow puts strength in the nail on its own you know and i do feel like you know i can do a lot with these nails i was able to open up a can of red bull with my thumb and like the nail didn't crack or anything um, i know you're not supposed to use your nails as tools but i just i do it anyways just to see like just to test or whatever so yeah i'm doing uh, three ombre nails and two solid nails so the design that i came up with today i honestly was dreaming about it's so funny because i had planned out all of my looks for the rest of this month and the rest of february i had planned every day what i was going to post but it's so funny how the best what is what's the quote it's like the best laid plans something i don't know but like i wasn't able to keep up with my plans and the plans started changing <laughs> plans have been changing like crazy so this one came to me in a dream i had a dream of some nails that were like nude like nude all nude nails with a red stone jewel like a red heart jewel and then some like white wings and a little gold halo so that's what i was gonna do at first but then i got this package in the mail and i kind of changed the color scheme up so now we did like something kind of similar but different But um, I went with a white heart because the color scheme is really sweet and soft and girly and pinky. So yeah, I don't know. I've never seen a look quite like this before. It probably maybe has been done. I don't know, but I thought it was so cute for the upcoming holiday. And I just had to cut in on my plans and just throw it in there real quick. One time for the one time, you know. Um, so yeah. I notice I'm really close to the camera in this clip, so the nail looks slightly bit blurry. It kind of like goes in and out of focus. By the way, my new mount is on the way, so pretty soon we're gonna have a better view. It's gonna look really good, and yeah. Do you notice how the nude on the nail I'm working on here is ashy and the nude on the other nail to the left is more vibrant that's what i mean like they're two different colors it's so cool i've never really seen that before i've never seen a, a nail like change um an acrylic change color after fully setting you know it's pretty cool so i just stuck these nails on my hand using mccart nail glue i get asked so often about this i mentioned it in my last video why i don't show this you know like why i don't show actually putting the nails on my hand and it really is just because I don't like how my natural nails look right now. I'm waiting for them to like grow out a little bit because they're really damaged. But if you know how to paint nail polish on your nails, you can do this. Literally, you just take this glue. It's a brush on glue from McCart. And you brush on a layer of glue as if you were painting on nail polish or a primer or a top coat. Paint it all over your nail. Take your fake nail and press it on and you just hold it for like 10 to 30 seconds the longer the better and that's literally all you do <laughs> like it's so easy so yeah but there's gonna be a time where I post a video all about it showing it I've shown it in a video I just don't remember which one it was I've shown it a couple times in my recent videos but like I think I need to make a whole video just about that so I can always reference it and link it in the cards for anyone who wants to see how to do it 
but I'm definitely gonna have the glue I used linked below. I love the glue. I've heard people say they didn't have luck with it. Um, it probably is due to the prep of the nails. You gotta make sure the nails are clean without any oil on them and um, probably try buffing the nails so there's some little scratches and stuff in the nail. So I'm using my McCart Dust Collector and the hand file they sent me to shape up these nails. Um, I'm just trying to reduce the bulk on the top and sidewalls and just make them into this really perfect square shape. They're slightly tapered, like just the slightest bit tapered. They're not 100% square, but they're definitely not like coffin, probably right in the middle. Um, I noticed that the pipe nails are really wide or something. I don't know what, what it is. They're just like really, the sidewalls come down really, really low. So that's like where the main point of filing is. And I love the fact that like when I file through this product, it doesn't really mess with my ombre too much. The ombre still looks flawless. Um, I don't know. These colors, they're just really dreamy. I don't have anything like this. They just feel really nice. Like they feel really high quality. I wasn't paid to say anything in particular. I wasn't paid to review these products. They were just gifted to me. I wasn't told what to say. Like, this is all my honest opinion, you know? And that's usually the case. Like, I've never really been told I can what I can and can't say about a product. Like, certain brands have tried it. They've tried it, but I've never really allowed it. Like, that's not, you know, no. Like, I'm not gonna do that to y'all. That, that's crazy to me. Um, I could never really like lie about my opinion or whatever, but yeah, I hope I can try more of their stuff. I kind of want to see, I want to like try their full collection. They have these full collections, which are like full color stories. It kind of reminds me of Organic Snails. Organic Snails also has like these full collections. So yeah, after I finish shaping up the nails, I just dust away the dust into the dust collector still loving the dust collector she's great she's so easy to clean out i just tap it off into the trash can that's it <laughs> i also washed my hands so you might notice here on my ring finger it looks like there's a patch and i think i just didn't apply enough purple acrylic right there so it just was patchy it's not fully opaque and yeah, I should have just applied a little bit more product right there. But I end up showing you how I'm going to fix that. I'm going to put some stones right there. So I'm doing a mixture of matte and shiny today. So um, some nails are going to be matte, some nails are going to be shiny. The matte top coat is the Crystal Nails Matte. This matte, I have to warn you guys, unless you have a 120 watt lamp, it's not going to cure fully matte. It needs a really strong lamp to fully cure, I noticed. When I used to use this with my older lamps, it would like give me a satin matte finish and I didn't know why until now. And the top coat for my shiny top coat is the shiny gel from Eno Couture. And then the last thing I end up doing to these nails is simply blinging them out. Just doing some really cute, simple bling. I really just wanted these to look really girly and flirty and simple and just delicate, feminine. That's one of my favorite looks to do, to be honest. I like this type of like classy wearable thing with a pop of like unexpected art on top. Maybe like some hand painted art is always nice if you have time to do that or just do some like little 3D stuff. I am using a 3D nail art mold today. Um, I'm really praying I can find this mold for sale online. In my gummy bears video I was not able to find the mold which honestly was so triggering. <laughs> not really but like it's kind of disappointing when that happens. But I really hope I could find the mold I used today. These stones are the um, light rose stones. I got these on eBay. So these are not real Swarovskis or anything, but they look really, really good. They're so pretty. So I just put some stones right on top of that patch, and I feel like it helped hide that ugly patchiness. And I'm also using some like ceramic roses I got on, I think I got these on AliExpress a while ago and yeah they're kind of the nails are kind of giving me like a you know that the the cherub nail trend where everyone was putting like little baby angels on their nails it's kind of giving me like some of that and a little bit of like sailor moon just just the slightest bit of sailor moon vibes 
by the way i did pick the giveaway winner i forgot to post it and stuff but yeah thanks everyone for being in the giveaway and stay tuned because i want to do a, a really like big giveaway for my 100k milestone it's honestly kind of surreal that we're so close to 100k like i don't get it i don't really get it like it's so weird to me it's so strange to me that we're at almost 100k like it's just crazy i don't even know what to say like it just doesn't feel real but thank you so much i don't even know what to say about it it's just uh when I get my um, 100K plaque, I want to do like some something really cute to it. I think I'm gonna make like a really kawaii frame. <laughs> By the way, the same glue I used to put the nails on, that my cart brush on glue is what I'm using for my bling and it's excellent for bling. It is so good for bling, you guys. So that's all I used today. Okay, so this is the mold. It's really cute. There's like different, there's two different angel wings on here. So if you don't like these wings, there's like another set of wings on here. There's two stars and two unicorns. And yeah, I got this a long time ago. A lot of my molds I got quite a while ago. Um, from this website called new frog and they literally are not even active anymore. So I'm just like Okay, but usually stuff like this. There's more than one seller that carries it pretty sure it's on Aliexpress, you know So I put some white inside the mold some white gel and cured it make sure you're curing it so well Like you got to cure it cure it for as long as possible Try to put a reflective bottom in your lamp so that the light rays can shoot under and cure the underside too. And that way they can be fully hardened and yeah. Um, so I just applied them using a little bit of matte top coat and flash cured them in place. And then I'm going to go around the entire nail with that matte top coat to just seal in all the edges of the nail. That way like my hair doesn't get caught under the wings or anything like that and just to make it really really secure basically and then I stick it in my lamp to cure by the way I'm gonna put a link in the cards for a review to the 120 watts lamp as well as the McCart dust collector so you guys can see about those if you're maybe interested in those things this is the final result you guys i hope y'all enjoyed today's video if you did let me know down below what you guys think of this set thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day or night i love y'all all so much see you in the next one bye